the Lawrence brothers are about to collide. Hey everybody, Walty Wanders, buckle up, strap in. I got a hard hitting, pull no punches, no sugar coating, no rainbows, no sunshine. I'm just gonna give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage um, today. Buckle up, strap in, hold on to your hats and your glasses as we blow the lid off the moto industry. Why would we do that, you ask? Of course, I'm gonna tell you. Nobody else will, my friends. Nobody else will. This is everybody's in somebody else's pocket financial gain. This thing's, this thing's got a recipe for disaster written all over. I can't wait to blow the lid off the economics of the industry because I want you to understand anytime there's a recession being ushered in, it's going to reach into the industry and evaporate riders' paychecks, sponsors, teams, and quite possibly this time, the organization itself. It's my job as a business guy to let you know because I've worked in the industry and I work in business. This is big. This is big stuff about to play out. But today, we'll keep it on the track as much as possible because I think this race hopefully will provide a little more entertainment than some of these recent rounds. Um, the Lawrence brothers are the new... We're all living in Jets world. Even Hunter Lawrence is living in Jets world. Now, Hunter has always been really close to Jet in terms of speed, but Hunter or Jet has had his number pretty much i know a lot of people in the comments and if you're new please subscribe subscribe right away a lot of people in the comments are like yeah but the the stats <laughs> the data and the stats show hunter's got just as many wins and finishes in the data and whatever whatever jet has not been challenged yet on the on the west where he's riding right now he has not really been challenged any he takes himself out but nobody he's you can just tell he's riding He's not riding at his full capacity. The only person that's going to be able to challenge him is his brother. But I don't think his brother has what it takes. He'll need some luck. Now, this should be really interesting because Hunter's a little older. And I think right now it's brotherly love. But if can you imagine what would happen if all of a sudden Hunter started to emerge as the bigger star? Wow, Honda, you might have a little trouble on your hands because you sunk all that money into Jet. Hunter just was the fortunate recipient of coming along for the ride and because he's got enough talent to warrant keep making sure there's contract money for him. It's all about Jet. We're not selling Hunter Lawrence donuts in the stands of these stadiums, which was a big mistake, are we? No! We're selling Jetson donuts. Insane, stupid. I don't even think Jetson likes it anymore. I bet you wishes that would stop. Because the money at this point, any money he's making off of donuts, it's nothing to him. It's not life-changing money. The contract he capitalized that Honda's on the hook for, now that's life-changing money. The sponsorship dollars from all the outside sponsors, now that's life-changing money. The donut selling, not life-changing money if I had to guess. And I think the tarnishing of the reputation because he watered it down with donut selling wasn't worth it. I bet you he could ba wants to back out of that like a bad habit. But the reality is this is going to be a barn burner this weekend because we're going to put these two guys on the track together and let them go toe to toe. And there, this, is, this could go really bad. It could go really good, but it could also go really bad because if something happens and all of a sudden Hunter somehow handily straight up beats Jet, oh, they'll write it off behind the camera. They'll tell you it's all brotherly love still. But if it continues and all of a sudden Hunter Lawrence starts to emerge as the bigger star. It's game on. All of a sudden, all the rainbows and sunshine over at HRC Honda, it ain't anymore. They got a challenge on their hands. So hopefully it's just going to provide some good racing because we need that first. But second, we got to understand that. Now, let's don't forget about our good friend and danger boy, Deegan, the internet sensation. Brian Deegan, the general, the metal malicious kid. Now. He's in there mixing it up too. Hunter Lawrence even came to his rescue at a at the press conference when he got on the podium and took out Jordan Smith or whoever it was. I don't even remember anymore because it's not even important anymore. The kid's fast. He's pulling holies. He's winning heat races and he's getting podiums. The kids, obviously, we we always knew he was for real. We just thought maybe we pushed him in a little too quick. Could have bought more time. He could have definitely put the shroud of mystery over the kid a little longer, but we never disputed the fact the kid was going to be a massive talent. He's got everything needed. He's given every opportunity to succeed. Couple that in with some natural talent. You're good to go. Let's go ahead and cut over to an article and a track map. And then we'll meet back here to wrap this one up. Let's get started. Hunter Lawrence won his fourth straight race, sixth of the season, and 11th of his illustrious 250 Supercross class career. 
He is now tied with Ricky Carmichael, Ryan Villapoto, Cooper Webb, Jeff Matasevich, Kevin Windham, Christoph Purcell, Justin Barsha, and Adam Cincerillo for 10th on the all-time 250 class win list. Winning out the last three races would place him alone in second with 14 wins all-time behind James Stewart, 16. Hunter's 20th podium moves him into 13th all-time, tied with who? Brother Jet. But Danger Boy looks to get in between these two. Hayden Deegan has scored his third podium finish of the season with a third place and moves beyond Dad Brian in podium finishes. Well, can he do it again in New York? And here you go, the Gladiator Arena, where the showdown is going to take place. A decent-looking start into a busy rhythm section. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. All right, friends, welcome back. There, So there you Go a little bit of a pre-race report, I guess, of sorts. This one's going to get good. I think Hunter has the ability to beat Jet, and I think Danger Boy has the ability to take one of dive bomb one of them and take one of them down, and it's not rainbows and sunshine anymore. It's not Hunter coming to his rescue anymore. In fact, it could be quite the opposite. This is one block pass away from imploding and changing the whole dynamic. I'm excited to watch this race probably more than any other race because of the East-West shootout. I believe that's really going to be awesome. Now, the 450s, we got a lot to watch there. Can Chase get back into this? Does Cooper rebound? Does Eli continue to you know fall off the pace and just try to go into damage control and try to bring this thing home with it just you know, with the championship but not get in there and fight for it the way he did at the beginning we're gonna have to wait and see and final thoughts that come to you as a friend as a moto guy somebody wants to see you not only win on the track off the track understanding the waters we're swimming in now shark infested from the riders from the teams from the sport itself and the organization everything is under attack everything is under siege and i'm going to be here to blow the lid off it every step of the way because it's not only what we need it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media link in the description of this if you'd like to follow me there. And if you enjoyed this video, I know you're going to love the next video. As always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars today. I'll see you on the next yeah, video. No, we finally lift the curse. I'm now officially a triple crown guy. I am him now. So it's, uh, no, it's good to finally lift that curse. The starts are finally get, uh, back to normal again, getting good starts. So uh makes my life a lot easier being up there. The middle one, I kind of like, took me a bit to get going, but this next one, I had, I was full of beans, so we uh, got the whoops sorted.